Didn't. Thank you, Marks. Well, you've heard of farm to table. How about farm to cocktails? Our friends over at the North Florida School of Special Education are always working on something. And JJ and Ellen join us with a beautiful spread right there. Let's talk about the new book. That's right. We uh, also have a great cocktail recipe for the warm weekend. We are making a spiked strawberry basil cocktail from our new cookbook that's called uh, Farm to Cocktail. And what's really cool about this uh, cookbook and recipe book is that it features drinks that we have used at fundraising events for the school over the last, what, nine years now. So North Florida School of Special Education serves students with mild to moderate learning disabilities, learning differences, and um, it relies heavily on the support of our community. Um, and so what we've done is find a new way to support our programs, especially our culinary arts program, with the sales of this cookbook. Um, we have a fantastic farm out there, a small urban farm that grows great herbs, great fruits and veggies. And uh, we wanted to find a new way to highlight some of that great stuff. That is so smart because I know from past experiences talking with you that the Bark and Biscuits is a part of a great program that you have. We also have heard about Very Good Farms. There's a food truck that is that uses this in a farm to truck kind of way. So let's make a cocktail, ladies. What's going on over there? Well, we have our strawberry basil lemonade, spiked or unspiked. It's absolutely delicious. Without the vodka, if you prefer that, you can add a little sparkling water. So what we have here that I put in is a pureed strawberry and fresh lemon juice and then made a simple syrup with water and sugar and then added fresh basil and that all goes together and you just pour it over ice. It's super easy and super tasty and delicious. And it's so fresh. Yes, very fresh. Right now, strawberries are amazing in Florida. You had a couple ounces of vodka. We did um, a great partnership when we did the cocktail book with Manifest Distillery. So I'm using some of their citrus vodka in this. And then you put in some pretty basil and you have yourself a lovely summer drink. And I'm guessing that the majority, and maybe not every single recipe, but the majority of them can also be made into mocktails. That's right. Um, either you can turn ours into mocktails or we partnered with a local, um, well, we're gonna call it a bar. It's called Wild Crafters, and it's a bar that serves non-alcoholic drinks. And they helped us create some really cool non-alcoholic recipes for this book as well. That's great. So there really is something for everybody nice. and you're getting, your, getting part of your five day when you're, when you're in, enjoying one of these delicious cocktails. I mean, if you're having fresh fruits and veggies. These for this book as well. That's great. So there really is something for everybody nice. and you're getting, your, getting part of your five day when you're, when you're in, enjoying one of these, seeing these fruits and vegetables, who's growing them and that's, why? That's right. So we, um, we have postgraduate uh, programs, which are for students that are 22 or older, um, where they can come and learn independence and vocational training skills through these micro enterprises that we've built out. And so it's our Very Good Farm. Um, we also have Art with Soul, where artists create amazing products uh, that are then sold to the community. Uh, we have an equestrian center, a therapeutic equestrian center, where students will come and get paid employment to work around horses and work the land. And uh, I think really cool is our culinary arts program, which is everything from working on our food truck to creating school lunches for the younger kids, um, catering fancy fundraising events and lots of really cool opportunities in between. So for more information on all of these things, if you want to uh, reach out to get the book, it's jacksfarmtococktail.com, mm -hmm. which is a very clever way to do that. And also <laughs> tickets to things like the concert that's coming up, um, and we'll definitely have to have you back and talk about that, shop.northfloridaschool.org. Thank you both so much. Oh, that looked so delicious. We're going to be right back with more River City Live. Don't go away. As we approach the noontime hour, things are getting pretty warm out there with all that sunshine. In fact, you can see it here on the Snap for Jack picture that we